Okay, everybody. Today we're going to remake this uh, compost pile I made out of an old pallet. It's lasted me about three years, but it's time for a new one. As you can see, I'm also going to clean out all this shit that's gotten shitty uh, all winter. And there's a bunch of shit here. So we're actually going to take, I've already started, we're going to take all this and we're going to build a fire to keep us warm while we're doing it. And we're going to use these old floorboards I found, I found, that were in my house that I tore out. And we're going to make a new compost pile. Okay? Pretty neat. Break, 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 break. Alright, so if you don't know how to build a fire, today's your lucky day. We're going to learn two things in once, okay? So, fires are a lot like rich people. Uh, they'll say that the key is preparation and hard work, but really it's just kind of what quality shit you have when you start out. Uh, so we're going to try to do it with leaves and these twigs and this big ass pile over here. And we'll see what happens and if we can get it going, even though it's cold as balls out here. Okay, so we look like we're doing okay. Hopefully the twigs hold up. And then once the twigs start burning, we'll know we're in good shape. Hey guy, get out of here and practice your fire blowing skills. Feels cool, right? I've just added more leaves, which is a loser strategy. You don't want that to happen, but we gotta do what we gotta do here, right? Okay, as you can see, I've started building a little teepee that's supposed to help airflow, and we're, we're going pretty good now, so we're just gonna keep working on this teepee with all these little shitty sticks I got. So it looks like we got some momentum on the fire, so we can just kind of sit back and not do anything for a while, which is another great analogy to rich people. And we're gonna we're gonna go over here and get started on this compost pile now. Look at that shit! Yee! All right, so fire uh, sells tickets, but compost wins championships. So we're we're going back to compost. I've I've made a big pile of leaves here from the shell on the floor. I'm gonna dig out with this shovel the stuff that's in there. And I'm going to put it next to the leaves. And then the plan is when I'm done building a new one, I'll take all the crap, all the dirt, because that's all compost really is, is crap and dirt. And I'm going to put it back in the new one and then cover it up with the leaves. Maybe that'll keep it warm. I'm not an expert, but that seems like the right thing to do. So I kind of had a fear this would happen, but you can see that this is frozen solid. So we're going to have to break this up. I'm going to pour some hot water on it, which might make it worse, but whatever. All right, so I got this big old bucket of steaming water. Should be good for the compost anyway to moisten it up a little bit, being icy cold. My thought is that I'm such an expert composter that there's probably a whole colony of things living under the permafrost and it's all roasty toasty under there, but that's almost certainly not true. Okay, so my device, which is definitely a phone and not an iPad mini, uh, froze up in the cold. But good news is I didn't. So, as you can see, I've dug out all the old compost, made a pretty big pile, and it actually was not completely cold in the bottom like I was joking before, and I'm not just bullshitting that, that's, that's a true story, okay? Throw more money or sticks or whatever on the fire, and then this is the old one and in all of its glory, okay? So I'm going to try to see what I can salvage from this, especially the back pallet, which I'll explain why is really uh, found to be useful. Uh, so I'm going to start prying that apart right now, and then uh, we'll start putting it back together. Another note is I found all the old all the old foundational stones, which is pretty cool. It's like an archaeology project. I also found like a broccoli stem from like three years ago. It's very cool. So I'm just prying this guy apart with a pry bar here, sticking that in there. And then I'm actually saving the rusty nails in this bucket here, because, I mean, why not? So we're going to try to reuse as much as we can with this. That's what composting is all about, people. So this was on the front piece going across here. You can see one of the repairs I made. This was like last year, maybe two years ago. Just because this, uh, this stripped or broke. So now I just nailed this piece to it and it kind of worked. So it kept it going for a little bit. Okay, so I got the compost pile completely disassembled here. Okay, so here's the front two poles. As you can see... The bottom's pretty rotten. This one already... So I'll bet this one will just, just kind of... Well, maybe not. Okay, well, we'll saw it down to make it equal, okay? Got the back. Back's in pretty good shape. I'll probably saw off the stumps there. Um, we've got... And then we've got two piles. We've got wood that's okay and wood that's terrible. So I just kind of did, like, a knock test on all these. Like, it makes a pretty good noise, right? And then you take, like, one of these dirty pieces of shit and it doesn't really sound like anything. So, we're going to do... I might make these, 
into a floor, which I didn't have last time, but I might experiment with that. Not sure. Uh, these I'm going to throw on the fire. You're not supposed to throw treated wood on a fire, but I'm just going to not breathe so much, and it should, we should be okay. Okay, so next is planning. All right, so we're going to start building. Here's what you need. You need a hammer, tape measure, pencil, and a saw. You need a safe pair of shoes. I choose these Crocs because they have unparalleled uh, combination of style and comfort. Okay, so once you measure out the slats you want, then you cut them up. I already got started a little bit. I started cutting these up. Now these have paint on them, which is kind of usually unrecommended. This could even be lead paint. I don't know, but you don't want that to leach into your stuff. But I don't really care right now. So I sawed these up. It doesn't have to be perfect. You remember. Always keep in mind, this is just a thing for holding dirt, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So these are two foot long strips, those are going to make the sides, and I'm going to start putting it together over there. Alright, so I reinforced the sides of this, um, because it was kind of rotted out in the bottom, and it looks damn good. Lead poisoning or not. Okay, so we're well on our way here. One thing I'm doing differently than last time is I'm keeping almost no gap in between boards because I want it to get real roasty toasty in there and I don't want I want to keep air from escaping okay so that's one thing I'm changing this year still got plenty of board you know we'll go probably up to about the level of uh, the top of this this one is a little bit these posts are a little bit taller but yeah we've got another bucket of nails you know I got multiple buckets of used nails in my shed and we're just doing one nail per board on here just to keep it simple except for at the bottom I used a long nail to go right into the hardwood because it's kind of um, rotted at the bottom here so yeah fire it's chilling there's nothing left almost I'm working away at my pile some stuff that I need to get rid of so things things are just cooking along here We're just gonna keep nailing boards to these uh, to these uh, this frame tax cuts baby Okay, so check it out. I've got six slats for the two foot slats for the one side, six two foot slats for the other side, and six three foot slats for the front. And I have very little leftover wood, which is amazing given that I put virtually no planning into this. So now I've got no wood over there, no trees or anything, just a beautiful pile of compost. And we're still working on this fire. It's just eating away at my pile. Let's go take a look, see how good that's going. See? That's way down too, so we're just doing all kinds of good work today. Uh, so next, I'm just going to hammer these on, and then we should be getting there. Nail. Alright, so this is a, a used nail. See how screwed up that is? But it's actually going to work, so that's why you can reuse nails. So I'm going to get it started. I would, I would do the whole thing on camera, but my Samsung Galaxy XT... 4000 and not an iPad 2 is too big for me to hold while I do it. So I'll get started and then I'll try to film driving this crazy boat. Crazy boy in. So you gotta beat the shit out of it and split the wood, but it'll work. Alright, so those of you that were paying attention like hours ago, I said that having this pallet back here is very important. So now I know all of you were on the edge of your seats. Why? It's because of this lid. Okay, the lid is super important because it keeps all the critters out and it helps lock the heat in. As you can see, this one um, probably not so much. So we're going to try to improve this. Um, but the reason why the pallet is important because when you go to put your junk in there, it makes like a nice little, you can stick the lid in, and that, I, I did that on accident, it turns out it's really nice. So, we've got the sides done, okay, look how beautiful that is, this thing's going to last a thousand years, I'll never have to make compost again, I hope not, but, because I love making compost piles, but, so we're going to try to next work on the lid, with all of our old pieces and some of that over there, see what happens. Oh, I also want to the back. I'm going to try to get Alright, we're pretty much done. As you can see, the roof is greatly improved. Okay, I mean, this thing's rock solid. I mean, if there's a tornado, I'm not staying in my basement. I'm coming out of the compost bin, hanging out with the microbes. Check that out. See? Fits right on top there. That's pretty nice. The one thing I'm not super 
happy about is all those nails sticking up. But it's kind of metal, so I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I found another jar of nails in the shed, so that was awesome. Okay, so it's in its new home. I wheeled it over on this skateboard, and then I put it on some rocks and bricks and stuff, and then gave it a couple of whacks with a hammer to kind of settle it in. And now we are in good shape. So now I just got to take that there shovel and shovel all this crap compost into the compost bin. Okay, so everything good in place. Last step is throwing some compost in there. We keep bowls of this in our fridge and so it doesn't go bad or anything. Um, we don't usually keep two, but it's been so cold and frozen. We got all kinds of stuff in here. We got, we got tea bags, got a piece of pepper, some celery, a uh, piece of onion, some eggshells, coffee, and the filter. So we got all kinds of goodies in here. So I'm just gonna open the top, stick that in there like that. How oh, nice. And I already put those leaves in there, and I'm just gonna dump this in. All right, so we dumped it all in. So now we just gotta stir it, which you wanna do occasionally. And so I just got a stirring stick that has some prongs on it. And you just get in there and stir it around. And or you can use a shovel or one of those golden claw things too, that works. And this is all pretty well mixed because I already did that with the shovel basically. So everything's been pretty broken up in good shape. And then I'm just gonna scoop the leaves on top, keep it all in good shape. And I think that's it, people. Boom! Compost bin. Look at that shit. How cool is that? Okay, see you later.